The great Tom Brady said this. You do not have to be the best at the position. The, the thing is your consistency and your work ethic. You know, Tom Brady wasn't the most athletic, sixth, sixth round pick. But his work ethic, his stu- he being being a student of the game, understanding you know the the dynamics of being a great quarterback and honing in all those skills. And we look at what he is now. He didn't have to be the most athletic. He didn't have to be the fastest. Just be the best. Be the best at your work ethic and be consistent. Show up to work on time. Be prepared when your time is called. And that's one of the biggest things I've learned from this Fox internship as well. Tom Brady is one of those athletes that I never rooted for. I was always anti anti Tom Brady. I mean, hey, I'm from New York, so um, you know, I've always been an anti Brady guy. I've seen him throughout my entire career, but I've grown to appreciate him more now that he's retired. In the sense that everything yes. he had to endure to get to where to to get to the greatness that he had. So this guy, you know, he was the sixth, sixth round pick. He, you know, you said it best. He was not the most talented quarterback. He didn't have an arm like Dan Marino or John Elway. He, there was just so many not top qualities about him. Right. But it was his work ethic. It was his consistency that kept him there for such a long time and why he thrived for such a long time. And he yeah. has a tremendous football IQ. Tremendous. Tremendous. Um. It's just unbelievable. And that's why now that, you know, he hanged it up and I got to know more about him through his interviews, through the documentaries, I've grown to appreciate his work ethic because you might not root for an athlete. You might not root for a team. Right. But you respect what they did and yes. in terms, you know, in terms of what they accomplished. And that's, you know, my feeling towards Tom Brady. So he's definitely someone that I say, whether you're an athlete or not, um, for any profession, you got to look at him as an example yes. of you could be the most underdog person in the world and you could, you know, rise to the top. So that's why I'm one of those um, sports fans, sports writers that I'm always rooting for the underdog. I'm always yes. rooting for mm-hmm. the small market teams because those are some of the best stories because of the things that they had to go through, you know, to get there. Right. So, but yeah, but, you know. I thank you, you know, for mentioning that call. That call is phenomenal. I love it. I love it. 